Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to another race here in the Virgin Australia Supercar Series on Automobilista. This is race 2 for the Perth Super Sprint in what is our sort of recreation of the real life event going on this weekend in the V8 Supercars. Now race 2 today is 42 laps. Yesterday it was 25 laps so it's almost double the race distance and it is approximately half of what they run in the real life race. Now as you can see here we've managed to put it on the pole position after I pretty much nailed uh, the lap in qualifying. I don't think I've ever put in a lap in a V8 supercar any better than what I did on any sim in any brand of uh, supercar I guess you could say than what I did earlier this morning here at Barbagello. Now Barbagello or Barbagello as I've sort of heard both pronunciations. I know it is Barbagello but I've, I have heard both said in the past. It is quite a short track, it's only a one minute long track in this sort of car, which means it's probably rather quick in, say, a Formula 1 car, I don't think, I think it lasts all the 15 seconds, but nonetheless, it is really fun, it's really technical, it is quite a sort of hard track on it, on the tyres, you really do have some really long and gruelling corners where the the tyre really does get a lot taken out of it so we're going to have to protect them and for that reason I've actually gone with the hard option Dunlop to start the race today so we're probably going to lack some pace a bit in the beginning but hopefully towards the end of the race on the soft tyre we should be able to come back and get those positions we've lost so it's all going to be down to holding on to the lead for as long as we can and then come down to pit road later on in the race Got a little bit too far forward. There we go. So just wait for the rest of the field to line up. Now in race one yesterday, if you didn't catch it, I did manage to finish 11th after starting dead last. I royally botched both my laps in qualifying for that race, so it was a good drive through the field. I'm just hoping now that we're starting up the other end, we can have an easier race today, although there is no such thing as an easy race in the Supercars Championship, so it's going to be interesting. Got to try and get off the line well here. We are starting at the front, so it's going to take a while for the AI to line up correctly. We'll just sit and wait. Unfortunately, the tyre's gone down to minimum now, so all that warming up was basically pointless. <laughs> Alrighty. Final race here at the Perth Super Sprint. For those that don't know, Perth is on the west coast of Australia. West coast of Australia. So, the complete other side to Sydney. Alright, here we go. Oh, good getaway. Cover the line. We've got cold tyres, so we're going to have to be gentle. Oh, understeer. Alright, that's a good start. Alright, one down, 41 to go. Lowndes is right on our tail. Oh. Oh, ow. Oh, wow, wow. You duke! Typical, oh my god, I'm still getting hit. Typical lounge, all smiles on the outside. We were shafted. Oh, go away. Oh my god, I'm still getting hit. Oh my god, now we got slightly bent steering. It's been, yeah, hitting the right rear.
God, I knew we'd have no pace on this tyre. Too deep. God, this tyre's got no grip on it at all. Also, that right rear damage is causing a little bit of right hand down right now, so I have to deal with that. Joseph MotoGP was last weekend. Oh my god. The problem is as well, the hard tyre takes a lot longer to come on than the soft tyre, so we just caught napping there on that third lap, or whenever we got shafted. <laughs> I was trying to get out of the way of the guy on the inside that I can't remember who it was I think it may have been Van Gisbergen and then we got hit by Slade and then Slade went underneath us and then we got hit by our teammate just don't have the pace on this hard tyre and now with the damage it's making it even worse look how slow I am in a straight line Ugh. it's going to be a long race Curbs here are so nasty when you touch them. They just like grab the car and pull it. Oh wow! Shunted. Oh my god. Well, at least they straighten the steering up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this has been an awful start to this race. Ugh. I think I maybe should have gone the other way around, should have started out on the soft and then moved to the hard. Big move. angry now. <laughs> Might just drive quicker. <sighs> Problem is I took quite a lot out of those tyres with that spin. Would have overheated them and just grazed them a bit. Oh no, not again! God! That's the third, fourth, fifth time I think I've been hit in this race.
God, the AI on Automobilista are just ruthless. <laughs> that was crazy. about time I started feeding it back to him. <laughs> oh, I see a bumper on the ground. Joseph, blip. A typical open wheel driver driving a V8 supercar, making all these mistakes. Yeah, stay behind me, McLaughlin. We're actually still in 13, so we haven't dropped too far down, but now with this pressure from behind, I just can't keep with these guys in front. Grip. So we seem to just be losing two to three tenths each lap to the car in front. Just really need to get off this tyre. Oh, 
all this getting past from behind is just slowing us down so much. I'm so slow. The thing is, I still have to hold onto these tyres for another bloody 10 laps. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, wow! What the fuck? Arrgh! This race has just been a disaster from lap 3. Oh my god, just go straight for the love of Christ. Oh yeah, we got big right front damage now. Unfortunately, the uh, Penske car just moved across in the braking zone and uh, caught the back of him. Alright, how many laps have we got left? This right front is going to explode. Uh, 
Oh my gosh. What a disaster. What a disaster. Alright, so we're going to fit the soft tyres, which won't get us to the end, so we're going to have to pit twice. God, this race is just sucked. We'll see how many positions we can get back, though, now that we're on the right tyre and we got that damage fix. Alright, so we are a lap down, but this track is quite short, so don't be put off by that. Still there's a long way left in this race, so anything can happen. Just, well, praying for a safety car right now. Actually, no, we don't want a safety car, because then we'll be a lap down. <laughs> yeah, we are, no, we are royally fucked. <laughs> Alright, 29 seconds, let's see if we can gain anything. Oh, what the? Oh, what the fuck? Alright, we've had some sort of failure. What the hell? Okie dokie, I'm not quite, sh not sure <laughs> quite what happened there, but... What in the world? Oh, we've blown up! We've actually blown up! Wow! Okay, that just happened. <laughs> what in the world? Oh my gosh, I mean, okay, so, I do actually have, let's just see what happened here. 
I do actually have the um, mechanical failure set to normal and I haven't been hit by a mechanical failure on Automobilista all year until now. Wow, that thing just gave up on me going into one. That was really weird. Wow, okay. <laughs> this game is, I suppose, supposedly quite realistic and it, I guess that stuff does happen, especially to Todd Kelly here. <laughs> Todd Kelly's car sales Nissan. He had quite a few issues last year, but wow, it just gave up. Wow. Okay, that's uh, really bizarre. At least it could have dropped a shit ton of oil down on the track and made everyone crash behind us. But wow. Okay, that just happened. Oh my gosh, what a bizarre race. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Well, guys, there we have it. A DNF in race two. I can't believe the engine just expired on us halfway through that race. I might go back and have a look after this, see if I was maybe downshifting too violently, but I did the exact same thing. Well, I was driving the exact same way as what I was in the first race, and we got through the first race fine. That is really bizarre. Anyway, uh... Yeah, not what we wanted for race two. Started off the pole and then got bullied out of the way, basically. Just got three shots from behind and corners and then got turned almost by the... Uh, I can't remember who it was. And then the Penske car came and just moved right across <laughs> us in the braking zone, which broke our right front, which meant we have to pit. But And then three laps after the pit stop, our Nissan Ultima V8 has just expired on us. Alright, well that is not what we wanted, but thanks guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed, well at least the first race yesterday and the short-lived three laps I think it was that we had the lead. But yeah, no, that is, well, that is incredible. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, I'll catch you all later.